What's going on everyone? Cannabis Express 420 here. I wanted to get in here and make a quick video about how to save money and get a higher return of investment on your cannabis grow. Whether you're growing indoors or outdoors, a lot of these tips should be able to assist you in saving a little bit of cash and um, going about things as optimally as possible at the same time as trying to get a high yield while um, decreasing the amount of time you need to spend money, decreasing how much money you need to spend, and, and generally giving yourself a better experience when growing when it comes to gram per dollar. So let's just get into a couple of these tips about electricity. Now, rates of electricity actually change throughout the 24 hour period of a day. The rate of electricity needed during the day versus the electricity that's available during the night are very, very different and therefore cost different amounts of money. Now, where I am from, it is actually cheaper to run your lights, heat and humidifiers, dehumidifiers. It's a lot cheaper to run your electricity at night between the hours of 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. This is going to give you the advantage of being able to um, spend less money every single day on electricity, driving that electricity bill down, so then you can actually reinvest in different parts of either your garden or save money to spend on whatever you want. More dollars in our pocket, being able to grow our medication is a huge advantage of growing. Now, the second tip is actually to Go for plants that don't need to grow as long. Go for plants that have a short flowering time and can yield decently with a shorter veg time. If you were to grow a veg plant for a month versus two months, you will save an entire month of electricity and that would be absolutely huge. And the same thing applies to growing a plant that has a 12 week or 13 week flowering cycle rather than something that has a seven or eight week flowering cycle you're going to be saving a lot more on electricity because you will be able to harvest those plants earlier and turn off the lights and the heat and all that good stuff a lot earlier and a lot sooner and then hopefully being able to get a large enough yield which brings us into our next point bring a huge yield get huge yielding plants get plants that make buds that are huge and a lot of them and of course you can also do training to save on seeds training such as cloning training such as super cropping training such as screen of green are going to give you a huge advantage when it comes to the yield per plant and therefore how much you spend on electricity and can also help you save on genetics, stretching those genetics further, putting them through multiple growth cycles to then bank up your cannabis, and then being able to live off of a stash for months and possibly even years is going to save you a lot of money as a grower. And if you breed, that multiplies even further because then you can take the seeds that you breed, put them in a bank of sorts, to store long term and keep those genetics for a very long time. And then when you're starting to run out and you have about, what, a year's worth of supply, you can simply start growing again and then restart the entire process. But I hope these tips can help you become a better grower, a, a grower that spends less money on more uh, a product because that's really what we're looking for, an ROI from dollars to bud is very important and keeping a balance is extremely difficult. It can be, especially when you're in the beginning stages of life. A lot of my viewers are pretty young. Uh, if you don't have your first house yet, you're probably going to be moving out or, or moving around quite a bit, if not at least one other time. Uh, take that into consideration now. Save up. You don't want to have the awkward in-between period that I did, but if you end up in that position, shit can get wacky. But until next time, I hope these tips help you guys. See you later.